This is Fox 13 News. It's the first solar eclipse to touch down in the U.S. mainland in over 38 years. In fact, the last one that hit the lower 48 states was back in February of 1979, and that one only touched a handful of states, mainly in the Pacific Northwest. I had a chance to spend some time with members of the Memphis Astronomical Society before they took off for the Path of Totality. Some of them had been waiting and planning for this eclipse for years. We're in Memphis, we'll see a 94% partial, which is pretty good, but on a scale of one to 10, a partial might be a three, and a total would be a 10 million. So there's no comparison. Jeremy Veldman and Rick Honey have been waiting for years for this very day, a solar eclipse where they would have a chance to witness it in the path of totality. Never seen a total. And, and I am excited about getting in the path of totality. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the rest of the country can do what it wants to, but I'm going to where the shadow is. They tell me they've been preparing for this day for quite some time. They have apps on their computers that tell them what the weather will be like along the path of totality. So if some place is cloudy, they will just continue and move northwest until they can get a clear view of the sky. And there will be a lot to see. If you see an, a bright orange dot just to the left of the eclipse sun, uh -huh. that's the bright star Regulus. If you go a little bit further to the left, you should see another bright object. That would be the planet Jupiter. And then to the right, the brightest object in the sky is going to be the planet Venus. And that's a pretty big deal because that's like, you know. I've never seen them during the daytime while the sun's in the middle of the sky at yeah. lunch. <laughs> the two understand that many people may not be as passionate about eclipses as they are. But they say it's just another way to marvel at one of nature's greatest gifts. It'd be like watching a flower bloom in two minutes. You know, if someone told you you could, uh, ever, blooming flowers are beautiful to everyone, but if someone said you could watch the flower completely bloom in two minutes, and, and would you say that's not that big a deal? Well, this group made the decision on Saturday as to where they are going to watch the eclipse, depending on the weather and what would be the cloud cover they were prepared to travel as far west as Casper Wyoming I just reached out to the group on Facebook and found that they are going to be watching the eclipse in the path of totality from Clarksville Tennessee and before you sit down and watch the moon pass before the sun you have the chance to roll up your sleeves and donate some blood donors will get a t-shirt and NASA approved eclipse viewing glasses